Welcome Transformers fans, my name is Composite Energy and welcome to the final Combaticons review and it's gonna be on the full Gestalt mode. So let's get let's get on with it. Combaticons fuse into Bruticus. Let's get on with it. <coughs> First, Brawl Swindle. So we got Brawl and Swindle ready to go. That's the feet and legs. Here is uh, Bruticus. This is Onslaught. Uh, same as always, just match up the uh, the grooves and slide it in. Okay. Now we have Vortex. And Blast Off. Then just adjust them. And boom. There is Bruticus. And let me show him off. Do -do. And this is really, really, really nice. Very nice. Very nice design. Nice and clean and solid. Yeah, so yeah, this is Bruticus. And he is really cool. Like... It looks just like Bruticus. Thanks to the head and chest, it, this does resemble Bruticus quite a lot. So yeah, the overall gestalt is fantastic. Now back in now in the onslaught review, I did mention that the combiner chest mode had one little um error, and that error is the same exact one that uh, that little error problem. Yeah, it's got one little problem that that I don't like. That it's the same one. It's the same exact problem that Sky Rain has, where the arms, I'm gonna show you right now, when you try and move the arms, notice how instead of moving here, instead of here where it's, oh, instead of here where it's supposed to move on the ratchet, it moves on Onslaught's arm. Sky Rain has that same exact problem, except here I think it's a little bit worse because it can get stuck, it can actually, to, uh, hit this and cause it to move forward like that. See? Oh. You know what I mean? The entire thing moves instead of the actual part, instead of this where, where it's supposed to move. So just like Sky Rain, I would have liked if the arms would have been more, so, like would connect somewhere and not move so that you don't have to hold it in order to move the actual combiner arm. Uh, one place I actually like to put this gun is right here on the back and just plug it in there. Plug it in right here so I have like a triple cannon thing. I have a uh, triple cannon. But that's just me. Now there is actually some, there is some, this uh, hole here where I place this gun. It, it is supposed to have, it has a purpose for another figure which I don't have and I'm just never, not really invested in getting. Um, okay, because with Bruticus... Like all of my other combiners, minus um, Skylink, Skyrings, and that I find as like a, a, a bonus one. For the Combaticons, they actually advertised a Legends class Shockwave to go with him. And in the uh, Generation 2 Colors uh, box set, there is a G2 Color Shockwave, a le little Legend Shockwave, that can go with this Bruticus and he can hold him in his gun mode. And he can store it also in the back where I put the machine, uh, where I put a Vortex his uh, gun. But, uh, yeah, I didn't do that because I actually really like Shockwave and I didn't want to get him in that size. And I feel that the Shockwave character shouldn't be an accessory. That, that's just me. Even though he didn't, he, like, Bruticus, like, back in the Generation 1 cartoon, did use Shockwave in his gun mode and actually wielded it for, like, for like a, a what was it, like, one episode. He didn't even put it on his back, too, and you can emulate that here. It's nice that you can do that, but I would prefer like an actual deluxe or Voyager class shockwave or something, not a little Legends. So because of that personal reason, I, I decided not to get a shockwave, but he is supposed to be with this team. And you can peg him in the back where I put that machine gun, and you can see like the little back tower. So yeah, 
Uh, nothing really much to say. Like all other, com he has the same amount of articulation as the other combiners. You know, there's a ratchet that can go 360 rotation there, elbow, some hand articulation. The feet can go, can uh, rotate up here, can rotate up here, and down there. He can do an okay kick, a pretty decent kick. And if you move this out of the way, this part out of the way, he can get a pretty good knee. So yeah, same, pretty much the same amount of articulation. Nothing really special in that regard. It's still a lot, of, a lot of good articulation. However, due to the way that the chest is constructed, um, well, well, no, 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 no. Never mind. That's that's <laughs> that's that's. I'm saying what I said for Menasor. Menasor was, uh, yeah, really pro problematic. But yeah. I think I will say that the way this is designed, I have to have the legs a little bit more angled back so that he doesn't fall forward because for some reason he's kind of top heavy. I don't know why. It's like some weird, weird thing that he's designed. Also for the blaster arm, I do have the flamethrower out and I have this more as his main weapon to emulate the uh, video games, uh, the fall of Cybertron Bruticus. Because in that game, the blast off arm actually turned into a flamethrower and the vortex uh, arm could rotate the rotor as some kind of shield, which was really cool. I thought it was really cool, so I decided to kind of emulate that here with uh, this flamethrower and this here. Now, you're probably wondering, um, does he have like a combiner weapon like all the other ones do? He does, but I don't like using it because it doesn't look that good. You pretty much just come back here and take off the, um, the onslaught guns. There you go. The combiner gun is that if you notice, there's actually a peg here, which is not on this one. Just put it in the barrel. And then you have this. And this is the combined uh, Bruticus gun. Yeah, it's not impressive. It, it's, it's actually kind of dumb. If, if the, the, what I honestly, what I do, I don't bother with that because it looks really silly. I just have him hold him so he has like two pistols, which are pistols here where also I had him, it was like cannons. They were rifles. So he's got twin pistols. So in a very weird way, this 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 uh, Bruticus does remind me a lot of the Skyrim combiner because he has a similar flaw. However, I think it's more, it's worse here. It's a little bit worse here than on a Skyrim. And Skyrim did, I believe, come... No, they were, Sky, uh, Skyleaf was actually part of the same uh, line. They came in the same wave. I remember actually seeing both of them at the same time. So yeah, with the guns, I just like sticking them in the back so you can get uh, Bruticus' uh, famous... Um, what you call it? His famous... Uh, what is it? Back cannons. His back artillery cannons. <clears throat> So I don't really have much else to say. Now I already mentioned in terms of facts, uh, I said this chest mold, this overall design was seen well with the uh, with a uh, hotspot, with um the protectabots, with hotspot as the main chest, which had, which uh when they combined it to defensor, it was, defensor would pretty much look a lot like this, except the chest was completely different. And same thing with pyromagna who would combine into the combiner Victorion. And those pretty much are all the facts. Overall, look, it, it's, a, it's a nice, solid figure. The Combaticons are a great team. Bruticus is fantastic. Like I said, because of my... And here's the thing. I pers For me personally, Bruticus is my absolute favorite of all the combiners. Second place being Superion, but I like Bruticus just a tiny bit more. And that's primarily because of how I was exposed to them, since the first time I saw Bruticus was in the Fall of Cybertron video game. I was first exposed to him, and they were like back when I played Fall of Cybertron, and I really fell in love with the character and with the team. So yeah, this is my favorite, so I, I had to get him. I had to. And he looks really nice. He's a really, really cool combiner, and I think he is worth having. The Combaticons are definitely, definitely worth having. I, like I said, I have my complaints with the team, but they're all personal complaints. All the figures, I would have to say the weakest figure here would be Brawl because of that weird waist design. And the overall Gestalt is, fa is fantastic. It looks great. 
So yeah, I recommend the Combaticons and definitely Bruticus. They're all fantastic. Uh, I guess one small complaint, I would have liked if he had a, an actual combined weapon that weren't these two guns. It, it like, like putting these two things together looks really weak. I think it, it, can, it probably works better with Defensor, but it's pretty weak here. I would have liked if they actually gave him an, a, a weapon, like a big gun or something. But yeah, that's pretty much it. He's great. He's fantastic. And the Combaticons are all solid. I know that as opposed to other uh, the, some other combiner teams, I have um, I have made a bunch of complaints with this one, but they're all personal grievances. The team and the figure and the combiner are all fantastic. Um, so I might as well just mention this because I because uh, I might as well just mention this now. I the with Bruticus with the Bruticus chest design, and with the other ones, I consider Bruticus in the Combiner Wars Combiner lines as the third and all of the uh, similar uses of his like Hotspot. And Victoria and all that, all of the chess designs. I consider this the third best chess design in the Combiner Wars. Number one is still Superion. The Silver Bolt, Superion, and all of its repaints and retools, that is the absolute best one in terms of Combiner Chess. That's that's the best one. Second would be Skylinks and the Sky Rain. But it has the it has the issue where it moves. If it wasn't for that, it'd be second best. Third would be Bruticus, because it has the same exact problem as Skyrain, but it's a little bit worse here. It's, it's like a little bit looser here, but it could just be my figure. And then the absolute worst one, the only, I guess, combiner that I don't recommend, and I hate saying it, is Menasaur. And all of those are repaints, because that Motormaster chest was, te was terrible. It was just, it had so many issues. I'm glad they only did it once. It was repainted, but they only ever did that style of mold once. After that, we had more solid molds like Bruticus and Skyrain. But yeah, and that's pretty much it. In terms of the actual Combiner Wars, Combiner uh, Chess, and sort of, I guess, styles, uh, I've, I've uh, gone through all of them with Bruticus here being the last one. So for me, my, now in terms of like Combiners, my absolute favorite is, is Bruticus followed by Superion. But in terms of um, designs of the actual toys... Of the combiner toys, I would put Superion as the as the number one, and I think the one that you have to get, that's I think the best one. Followed by Skylink Skyrain, I think was fantastic. And then you have Bruticus here and the Combaticons. Solid team. Really great. Now, like I said, if you're gonna get Superion, watch out that these are two repaints of two aerial bots. Just be aware of that. And then Menasaur. For that one, I think I already mentioned, I recommend the Stunticons, but I don't really recommend combining them into Menasaur because hey, they look good, but you can't mess with them. The moment you move them around, everything starts falling apart. But I already complained about Menasaur. So yeah, overall, Bruticus and the Combaticons, fantastic. Oh, and like I said, if you really want to, you can get the little Shockwave. I didn't do it because I, I really like Shockwave and I would have preferred if they did an actual like either Deluxe or Voyager class figure. So yeah, overall... Fantastic of the Combaticons and definitely fantastic Bruticus. So yeah, this has been my review of the Transformers Combiner uh, Combiner Wars Combiner Class Bruticus. This is my last Combaticons review. And this is Com Composite Energel signing off. Peace out.